Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can take one chord shape that you may know on the piano and then move it around to play every single chord with that kind of shape. And so we're going to start with a C major chord, playing a C and an E and a G note. So chords are all about skipping. You're kind of taking what's called the root of the chord, which is the, where the name of the chord comes from, and then skipping to the third of the chord, which is the E note, and then skipping to the G note right above that. So if you play all three of those together, it sounds really, really happy. Kind of C major, kind of an idea. Now, the main thing with moving around chord shapes is it's really all about distance. So, randomly, the C to the E is what we call a major third in music, and the C to the G is what we call a perfect fifth in music. So we're playing a root and a three and a five, and that makes a major chord. Well, depending on what note you're on, on the piano, that root three five looks a little bit different. But one really easy way, if you're just starting out, to try and get a handle on all the major chords is to take that C major chord shape and you could go up one note with each of your fingers. So the C would go to a C sharp note, the E goes to an F, and, and the G would go to a G sharp. So now we're playing C sharp, F, and a G sharp. I want to call this D flat, F, and A flat, just for myself, but it doesn't really matter. That's kind of your C sharp major, or D flat major chord. And then if we go up one key from there, we'd have a D note, and then an F sharp note, and then an A note those distances the same. So that's a D major chord on the piano. And then if we took each of those keys and went up one, we'd have an E flat note and a G note and then a B flat note. So now it looks a little bit different. Same distances between the notes for an E flat. So we got three, three, five for E flat, makes an E flat major chord. And then from there we could go a one to an E note and then one from a G to a G sharp note and one from that B flat to a B note make an E major chord, kind of an E, G sharp, B idea. And then from there we could go over to the F, and then we'd have a regular A and a regular C, which is kind of an F major chord with all the white keys, kind of our root three, five for F. And then if we go over one more key, we'd have an F sharp note and an A sharp note and a C sharp note. So we'd have an F sharp major or a G flat major. So you can think about it as G flat, B flat, D flat, or you can think about it as F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, same notes. F sharp major, and then if we go over one more key from there, our F sharp goes to G, A sharp goes to B, C sharp goes to D, now we're back on the white keys with a G major chord, and then from the G major we could go up one to an A flat or a G sharp note, B goes to C, and then our D goes to E flat, so I really wanted to think flats on this too, kind of A flat, C, E flat, kind of an A flat major. From the A flat major, we could go to an A major, kind of A flat goes to A, C goes to C sharp, and then E or D sharp goes to E, and kind of now we got an A major chord, and then if we take that over one note, then we would have a B flat, and a D, and an F, so now we got one black key, two black key, or two white keys, it's kind of weird, so we got B flat, D, and F, and then from there we could go over B flat goes to regular B, D goes to D sharp, F goes to F sharp, kind of makes a B major chord, and then from the B major chord we'd be going back to our C major, which is where we started, so we kind of got our, our root 3 5. So all through that you have C major, D flat major, D major, E flat major, E major, F major, F sharp major, G major, A flat major, flat major, B major, and then C major. And that's the 12 major chords that you may see on the piano. And when we started this lesson, I did a kind of a little charge idea actually on the chord, and that's called an arpeggio, when you kind of break it up into different pieces. And so I was going root, three, five, root, above, right? And then five, root. Root, three, five, root, five, root. It's kind of that charge idea, kind of if you go to the, to the <laughs> C, E, G, C, G, C. So it could be kind of a cool idea even to take that idea and then try it through those chords. The D flat major, the D major, our E flat major. I know that's a stretch there or jump. E, P major, F major, F sharp major, G major. A flat major, 
A major, B flat major, B major, and then C major. So I'm kind of making that a right hand thing, but you could completely try this with the other hand too. I'm making a two hand exercise, which would be kind of an interesting thing to try too. Or we could kind of talk really quickly about how you could take that major idea of the root three five and play every minor chord. And this is a little weird, but if you take the, e, the C major, the one chord that changes to make this from a happy sound to a sad sound is the third, the E note, changes to an E flat. So now we have a root and a flat three and a five for our C. And then we could kind of take the C minor, that C, E flat, G, and do that same idea where we go one note with, with each chord. So we'd have our C minor, and if we go one key, we'd have a C sharp, E, and G sharp for a C sharp minor chord. And if we go one note from there, we have a D and an F and an A to make a D minor chord, or sad D. And then from there, if we go one, we'd have an E flat, G flat, B flat for an E flat minor. And then from there, if we go one key, we'd have an E and a G and a B for an E minor. And then from there to the F, we'd have the F note and an A flat note and a C note. It would be kind of your root flat three five for F, kind of an F minor idea. And then we go up one key from there, we'd have an F sharp and then A and C sharp would be your F sharp minor chord. And then from there, we'd be going to our G and a B flat and a D for a G minor chord. And then from there we'd have a G sharp and a B and a D sharp for a G sharp minor chord. And if we go one more key, we'd have the A and the C and the E for an A minor chord. And then for the B flat, we'd have a B flat and a D flat and an F for a B flat minor chord. And then for your B note, you'd have a B and a D and an F sharp for a B minor. And then from there we'd be back to our C and our E flat and our G, which is kind of that C minor we started on. Now another cool thing you could do is you could take that idea of the charge idea and try it minor. play around with that too just to kind of get used to what the minor shapes look like through the piano so that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of warm up with when you're first kind of sitting down at the piano just to kind of try and go through all your major and all your minor chords because every chord <laughs> major and minor <laughs> can be kind of cool to kind of just take one shape that you know Kind of cool with the Zarathustra thing, you know, the, the, the major minor thing. But that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of try to. Um, or you could take the major, go to minor, take the D flat, major, minor, D major, minor, E flat major, minor, E major, E minor, F major, F minor. F sharp major, F sharp minor, G major, G minor, A flat major, A flat minor, A major, A minor, B flat major, B flat minor, B major, B minor, C major, C minor. Might be kind of a cool exercise to kind of try to. I just thought that was kind of cool. Just to kind of walk through all your major and minor chords. And every chord that you play, for the most part, is. Well, 90% of the time is gonna be major or minor, so I hope that helps, so good luck. Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music with a really quick uh, overview of uh, diminished chords. And what a diminished chord is where you've got kind of your root three, five for your C major, right? C the root three, five. And what you do is you take the, the E and kind of flat it, make it a flat three. And we take the five and we flat it, we make it a flat five. 
So now you got a three, a root, and a flat three, and a flat five, and that makes a C diminished chord, which sounds really, really nasty. We, we all gotta love that chord. And um, but if you wanted to, to kind of take that shape too, you could kind of run that in the same way that we, we were kind of doing it for major and minor. So we could go up one note to C sharp, and a C sharp diminished would be a C sharp and an E and a G. And then for the D, then we'd have kind of the D and then an F and then an A flat. So it would be a D diminished. And then if we took that same idea and went up another one each on each, we'd have E flat, G, and then we'd have a B flat, or an E flat and a G flat and a A. Oh, wow, that's nasty. Took that same idea. I guess we could take it on the top one. Hi. Oh, I don't even have to do that. So if we wanted to, we could even kind of take that same idea with a diminished chord, and with a diminished chord, you'd have the C for the root. We'd have a flat five on the E flat, and the G would get flattened to a G flat. So a C diminished would be a C E flat and a G flat note. And if we did that same idea, kind of going up one key with each one, a C sharp diminished would be C sharp, E, and G. And then if we go up one more key, then we'd have a D and an F and an A flat would make a D diminished. And if we go up one more key, then we'd have an E flat and a G flat and then an A, we kind of be an E flat diminished or D sharp diminished. For the E, then we'd have an E and a G and a B flat, it would be an E diminished. And if we go up one more key, we'd have an F and an A flat, and a B would be the three notes for an F diminished. And then if we kind of keep that going, then we got an F sharp and an A and a C that make an F sharp diminished. And then for a G, we'd have a G and a B flat and a D flat, would be a G diminished. And if we go up one more, we'd have A flat, and then a B, and then we'd have a D, would be a, a G sharp diminished or an A flat diminished. And then if we go up one more, we've got an A and a C and an E flat, that would make an A diminished. And then if we go up one more, we got B flat, D, and E, that would kind of be an, a B flat diminished. And if we go up one more, then we'd have a B and a D and an F, oh my gosh, white keys. For a B diminished chord, and then we'd be back to our C diminished, kind of our C E flat, G flat. So that might be another cool chord combination to try chromatically. Got one, one on each key, or we could use a C augmented chord, kind of a C plus, where you'd have a C and an E, and then what we do is we take the fifth and then sharp it. So now you got a root and a three and a sharp five to make a C augmented chord. Randomly, this is kind of cool because there's only so many of these guys. Um, but if we did that same idea for the C sharp, we'd have a C sharp and an F, and then an A would be a C sharp augmented. And then for the D, we'd have a D and an F sharp and an A sharp would be a D augmented. And then for the E flat, we'd have an E flat and a G, and a B would be an E flat augmented or E flat. And then for the E, we'd have an E and a G sharp and a C, randomly the same notes as the C augmented, but now it's an E augmented. <laughs> and then if we go up one more, we got the F and an A and a C sharp, it would make an F augmented or an F plus. And if we go up one more, we got F sharp, A sharp, and D, it would make an F sharp augmented. And if we go up one more, we'd have G and B and D sharp for a G augmented. And if we go up one more, we'd have A flat, C, and E would be an A flat augmented or G sharp augmented, randomly the same notes as the C augmented we started with. And then from there, then we'd have the A and a C sharp and an F that would make an A augmented. And then from there, we'd have B flat and D and then a, a G flat or an F sharp. <laughs> For a B augmented, and then from there, then we'd have a B and a D sharp, and then a G for kind of a B augmented, and then from there, then we'd be back to our C and our E and our, our A flat or G sharp to kind of get back to the C augmented. So you may want to try some of those uh, chords too. You don't see those as much as the major and the minor, but those could still be cool combinations to kind of try. So our main combinations are going to be major and then minor, and then we talk.
talked about diminished, and then we talked about augmented. And with those chords, you can really play just about anything. <laughs> so, best of luck.